Hello and welcome to Information Sources and Services. This week I just want to introduce myself and give you an introduction to the class and then next week we'll start really getting into the meat of the class. Uh, my name is Ellen Posey and I will be the professor for this course. I was a children's librarian in a public library for five years and I had volunteered in school libraries for a long time when my kids were young. I also worked at Baker and Taylor, a company that supplies books to libraries for a year and a half as a children's collection development specialist. It was a great job. It was a terrible company. And I had my MLIS at that point from Rutgers and decided I really wanted to get my PhD. So I went back to Rutgers and got my PhD from there also and taught various classes in the library school while working on my dissertation. I am beginning my seventh year here at William Patterson, and I'm the director of the School Library Week program. So I've probably spoken with a lot of you. Um, if you haven't had classes with me already, you may have spoken to me in my um, role as director of the program. So contacting me, I set aside in-person office hours, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3 to 5. Since we're online, um, I also make time whenever you need to meet with me. So I know that most of you won't be able to get here in person either because of the timing or the dates or because you take the class online and you live far away. So I also offer virtual meetings by appointment. We can uh, meet on Zoom, which uh, some of you who have already done your interviews, that's what we use to do the online interview for getting into the program. And it's nice, if you, uh, a fi nice, fi easy face-to-face -face way to meet. So I'm always available. I will try to get back to any emails within 24 hours during the week and 48 hours on the weekend. If you leave a message on my on this phone, also send me an email because I'm not always uh, back in the office to check my phone mail. I'm much better at responding to emails and then we can set up a time to talk. This is the book that we usually use for this course. However, it's being revised and there was no more um, in stock on Amazon. So for this semester, we're go I'm going to give you the um, PDFs of the chapters that you need to read for it. So you won't need to purchase a book for this semester. If you are interested, um, you can look up Megan Harper. Her new book comes out in 2019. Uh, it actually was supposed to come out, I think, last summer, and I was going to use it for this semester, but it's not out yet. So I didn't want to run into not some of you buying the book and then through directly through ALA and not having it, you know, them run out of copies. So I am doing what you're not supposed to do but for a particular reason. When we talk about plagiarism and not plagiarism, when we talk about copyright, this isn't something I would suggest doing, but since I can't get copies of it, I, I'm going to proceed with giving you uh, the PDFs of the chapters. So the course structure. Each week, um, each week I will do a lecture like this. Sometimes you will see uh, my face as you are seeing now sometimes you won't it depends on the week and um, where I am and what capability I have for recording and whether or not I've done my hair and put makeup on you also be required to participate in discussions which are um, written discussions online you will be doing a reference journal every week and basically since this class has a lot to do with reference um, I'm going to be giving you exercises uh, in your reference journal. So basically I'm going to be asking, we're going to be kind of role playing different reference situations where you need to give students information uh, as a way of practicing. That's not going to start this week, that will start next week. Um, our week will be from Wednesday morning to Tuesday noon, which means if I'm ask if you're participating in the discussions, I'd like you to post your first post by um, Tuesday at the latest. Um, if you uh, your reference journal should be posted by Tuesday, you should have watched the lecture by then. So um, I will be giving you a variety of things I'm going to show you. If you've gotten to this lecture, you've already gotten on Blackboard, but we'll go into Blackboard a little bit so I can show you how I arrange things. Um, so that's the structure of the course, and 
I, um, in addition to this, you will have different assignments that we'll go over that will be due at various times during the course. So the syllabus, which I have posted to uh, the first week's tab, is a course overview. The most up-to-date information on readings, etc., will be on Blackboard. So if you like to have an outline of what we're doing for the semester, the syllabus is good for that. But when it comes to what is due, what you need to read, and what you need to do, uh, Blackboard each week will have the the latest. Uh, sometimes uh, a, a reading that I have posted, I might update it, or uh, it might not be available. And if you're looking ahead at all, I check the links to the readings and, and other things the day or two before the week starts. So if you find something that's not up, that you can't access, you can let me know. But the reason you're finding things that are not accessible is generally because I haven't checked it yet. And rather than checking the whole course at the beginning, I do it week to week. But feel free to let me know if there's something that's not working, because you'll be doing my work for me. Um, so read, take a, a skim the syllabus. Let me know if you have any questions. I want to talk about chalk and wire. For those of you who are new, Chalk and Wire is a, a data collection system that the, the uh, college will give you a subscription to for free. There will be certain assignments that you do on during the course of the semester that I will ask you to upload on Chalk and Wire. You will be getting an email probably about a week or two into the semester from uh, the College of Education as a new student with your password and your credentials, your login information for Chalk and Wire. Once you log into Chalk and Wire, you need to set up a portfolio. Sounds like gobbledygook. I'm going to send out to new students uh, who are new to the program. I will send out information on this. And we can always make an appointment if you're having trouble uh, getting on. The nice thing about Zoom is I can share, we can share screens and I can walk you through things. So don't be afraid to contact me with Chalk and Wire questions. Just a reminder, one of the projects that you will have in your final course field experience is creating a, a e-portfolio. So for that e-portfolio, you will need to keep copies of assignments that you have done throughout the course of the program. Uh, you can do this, you always should have backup for your files. I, I'm a big believer in Dropbox. You can also upload them to the file library in Chalk and Wire because you will eventually need to use them on Chalk and Wire, which is different from the portfolio on Chalk and Wire. I will walk you through that. Don't worry about what I'm saying now. The, my point here is that you need to keep copies of assignments uh, so that you have them in one place when it comes to doing your field experience portfolio. So the major assignments for this class are a database evaluation, which basically you're going to look at one of the databases that we have at Chang Library. And you will have a series of questions that you need to answer about that database. You'll need to go in and use it, try different searches. It's very laid out for you, uh, but it gets you used to how to evaluate a database. Then you'll have a reference interview paper. This is spread out over the semester, not due till I think December 4th. And basically what you're going to do is go to two different libraries. Once you have a question, uh, approved by me, you're going to go and ask a question at two different libraries of a, of a reference person at the library. And I'm going to explain this more. This is just a, a quick overview. But you are going to ask a, the same question in two different libraries of a, a reference librarian and write up your um, experience with background from research. So you have to do some research and find three to five articles, five to seven articles. It, it's in the under assignments in Blackboard uh, that are uh, scholarly articles about the reference interview that back up 
what you've observed yourself when you did when you went in as an interviewee as the question asker asker um, to do two different libraries so I give you plenty of time to um, develop the bibliography and develop a reference question and go uh, a reference question to ask it could be something that you're interested in it could be something that you construct just for this assignment and so you need time to get to two different libraries uh, and sometimes uh, one interview might it just there may not be a reference library librarian on duty or something might happen so you need to leave time to you know, make sure that you are able to get to the libraries and ask the questions your final assignment will be a libguide and this actually is the libguide that we have as a resource for this course developed by our uh, curriculum development librarian and you are going to be developing not something quite as uh, complicated this I'm only going to ask you to do three tabs but I'm going to walk you through how to do this um, and you will develop the uh, topic you need to uh, give me a topic before starting and we will talk about the requirements for it but basically you're going to be developing one of these it can be for something that it will be useful in your school or uh, that you can use right away or it can be something that you just are anticipate using in the future or that you're interested in in general so the database evaluations due October 16th the reference interview question is due the 23rd you'll have will you'll have some time to think about it before then uh, the reference interview bibliography where I want to have uh, APA list of references for that you're going to use for the bibliography so I can make sure before you write the paper that you're on the right track in terms of the type of uh, type of uh, sources that you're using and your APA style so this is going to be a bibliography on the reference interview not the question that you're asking so there's a lot of information as you will see about how to do proper reference interviews what is um, the right technique different uh, uh, studies about the reference interview it seems like a simple thing but as we talk about it you're going to see that it's much more complicated than you might think then uh, the libguide topic just whatever topic you're going to do is do 1113 I want to approve that like I've approved the reference interview question sometimes I might need to help guide you to narrow it or broaden it depending on um, what I think might be doable within the libguide reference interview paper is due 12-4 and finally the libguide is due 12-18 so that kind of lays out the the big picture for your semester uh, on blackboard uh, I'm going to give you an overview of blackboard now and I'm also going to talk about Flipgrid because I want you to do your introductions on Flipgrid it has recently gone to free for educators and I have used it in the past but it was you had to pay for it and now that it's free for educators I want you to get a chance to use it and uh, for us to, to play with it also so Flipgrid I'm going to be emailing you a your uh, ID number for your Flipgrid so our Flipgrid is called ISS 2018 information sources and services 2018 you don't need to remember it I'll send that to you and then you're going to have a student ID number I have one too mine is number one and you'll see this is our Flipgrid and I want you to do a welcome to introduce yourself in 90 seconds I would I want to see the video I actually think you can probably do this on your phone but you need something with a camera to do this because I want to see the video of you and I want you to introduce yourself to us and to the other classmates so you can take a look at everybody and we'll try this and see how it works so that's Flipgrid and then we'll go to Blackboard sorry I did not have this pulled up Have too many things on here okay um, so this is where I enter the course I, I sometimes can't see what you guys can see I go on I, I have a student preview but it doesn't always give me everything that you see 
for example, grades. I don't know how you do grades. All the assignments are listed here with the due dates and how to do them. So if you want to take a look at them, I'm going to have uh, discussion boards open for questions on the course and assignments that you can post to any time. If you see somebody posting a question there, uh, feel free to answer it if you know the answer, if I haven't gotten back to you. Each week, as you no doubt have found by now, we'll have information. You will see the new syllabus. I haven't updated that yet. I mean, I haven't uploaded it yet. The lecture, um, which you have already seen, and this, I have to update that because you can do Flipgrid. And then I would like you to participate in the what is discussion. Um, in addition to uh, introducing yourself on Flipgrid, respond to the discussion questions so you can kind of uh, get used to it. Also on the profile, I would like you to, um, I have to exit the preview for you to see this, I think. Up here in the right hand corner, there is a place to upload your picture on the profile. Um, you can go in, upload a picture. This way, your picture will show up when you are on the discussion board. It's a little bit easier for everybody reading the discussion board to follow the discussion. If you have a little picture, it's kind of hard to see the person, but I know that instead of that little um, head or figure that they have there, that you're the one with the pink or, you know, I can see that you have brown hair or whatever. And it really helps you too, not just me, but it helps you in keeping track as you go along of, um, of your classmates. And it's nice to see a, a face, a friendly face on there. So if you haven't already done that from another course, please do that now. Um, and as you can see, we're at 15 weeks. The final day of the semester is 1221. And let me see if there's anything else. No, I think that's it for today. So I will see you on Flipgrid. If you have any trouble with that, please email me. And uh, I look forward to our semester together.